We are going to promote world peace in the kitchen today with the one and only Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. We are rooting for world peace, right? Peas. Peas. World, world peas. World roots peas. and peas. Give peas a chance. Now we're talking about roots because what are you cooking today? We've got all kinds of cool stuff today, but we do have an autumn root roast. How are you going to kick it? Going to kick it root down. Root down? Yes. We're going root down. We are. Not top down, but root down. Tap root. So uh, what kind of roots are we talking? We've got uh, all kinds of cool stuff. We've got beets. We've got parsnips. We've got carrots. carrots. We've got some, um, some fall squash. We've got some, some potatoes, which are tubers. Mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts. Yep. So we're going to be rooting for a delicious uh, meal for you today, and we'll get started in just a moment. And it's Jeff more. Brown, everybody. Welcome back to the Hampton Road Show, everybody. We're in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. He's making a couple of tasty seasonal favorites. And because it's Monday morning and because we want to get the morning off to a great start, we're going to start with a low country breakfast bowl. Yummy. Why not? What is low country? It's just, you know, something that you would just do, you know, like South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, uh -huh. something that you just eat like comfort food. Oh, comfort food. Yeah, Sweet. Just I, just real, came, I just very came from easy. North Carolina. I was down in Carolina country. Slow and slow. Mm -hmm. But what we got going on right now is we're going to start off with like an andouille hash, and we just have some diced red potatoes. Right. And we're just got them in a pan right now, just crisping them up. Right. And we're going to add our um, andouille, so we can just combine that in there. Breakfast bowl. Yeah. This is what we got going on right now on our boards right now. Lots of seasonal stuff going on right now at Cotton. This is one of our favorite times of the year. Um, you would think, you know, summer is the you know, most productive time of year, but actually fall is really when the stuff really starts popping off. It's the harvest season. Yeah, man. absolutely. They're That's harvesting. It. So this is going to be a couple pans to get things going. And um, you can see I've I got some little cheats going on here. Uh -huh. We've got another pan with oil. This is going to be for our, our spinach. We're just going to wilt some spinach up. We're going to let this get a little hot. Put a little garlic in there. You're making a lot of noise. I like that. Olive oil and a little bit of Wake garlic. everybody up this morning. We got to poach some eggs. Poach them. We're going to drop some eggs in some boiling water. We uh -huh. got a little bit of white vinegar in there. Okay. You put a little bit of vinegar in there because that helps keep the egg whites together and pulls those together, pulls them nice and tight to the egg. Oh, okay. Okay. Got to have a little vinegar. A little bit of trick. Patrick Hilton taught me that. Patrick Evans, he's here he on a is Monday. Such a, it's not Tuesday, it's Such a wealth it's Mondays of knowledge with that Patrick guy Evans. Is. Got a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Uh huh. Okay. Yikes. This thing's going to come together real quick, real fast. We're going to like this. Okay. A little bit of spinach. It's like made to order. Yeah. Absolutely. Out. Everything's fresh and cotton. Special. So watch what I do here. So look, I'm going to just take this off the heat. Uh-huh. Because you don't want to cook this down and kill it. Right. You really don't. You just want a nice little wilt. Look at that. Trying to already. It just can't They're wait. To jump out it of just that pan. can't wait to get with those potatoes. So we got this going on. Okay. So we got this going on. This is the beginning of our bowl. This is how things start. The bottom of the bowl. This start is how it all green. gets going. Got to have some color. So we got our hash. And you know what we got to do now. What's that? We got to put some butter in it. Oh, okay. What's well, a good idea? As if that andouille sauce just didn't have enough grease on it. Throw a little Actually, butter it on it. Actually, doesn't have too much grease. Really? You know I mean? Yeah. Well, it's all, it all matters how much you put in there. Oh, okay. But what we're going to do is just going to give us just a little bit of sauce. Put it on top of this. Looks good, doesn't it? it? Does look good. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna get okay. that right over top of that. We got our poached eggs. Now poached eggs take a you know a few minutes to cook. Well, we got time. So you know I'm kind of smart. What are you doing? You I'm had gonna, one standing by. I got a magic oven. Look, just like that. This ain't my first rodeo. Okay, so uh, I'm not just another pretty face. Well, are you are you just about done? I'm done. You are well. They just told us we have three minutes. So we get to lollygag. Actually, three no, I'm minutes. just kidding. No, Girl, I'm just we kidding. Don't have I'm three just My inside clock is better than that. Your inside clock? Look at that. It's like, this is Monday morning. Got to get it out there for the folks. That's what's going on. Look, you can't mess around with breakfast. I, you can't. You got to get it quick. People Brother got to eat. They Brother go. got to eat. eat. They got to go to work. They got to make a living. Speaking of which, how are things at Cotton Southern Beast? Things are going great. We are just, we're pumping them out right now. Um, we're getting geared up for... The holidays. Mm -hmm. We're thinking Thanksgiving. Wow, that's right really? around the corner. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. We're gonna just skip up? Halloween and go right to Thanksgiving. We, you know, the, the fall's good for us, but we gotta start planning for Thanksgiving. We got holiday parties coming up. We're booking holiday parties right now. Right. On premise, off premise. It's that time of year. Right. It's start that thinking. time of year. Give us a call. It's also that time of year when we all root for our football teams. And how about them Browns? How about the down Browns? twenty-five points yesterday? And they come back and win. They beat Tennessee. Sun shines. That's right. Every once in a while. Two and two. Get your uh, tickets ready for the Super Bowl. You watching baseball? To, we're going to the Are you the watching ball. baseball? A little bit. How about those Orioles? Those Orioles are amazing. 
So you guys watch Sports Center Consulta Bistro? Sports Center, yeah. Sports Center. Absolutely. Yeah, Sports Center. Okay, so listen, we're gonna cook up we're gonna cook up a bunch of roots in a second. Good what, stuff. Roots, like what's a parsnip? A parsnip? It's just a really pale carrot. It's a pale carrot, but it tastes delicious when you cook it up right. There it is right there. Look at him. I mean, so you're going to put a whole bunch of roots together, and it's going to be, what's the main dish with that? But that's it. I mean, it's just a, just a nice little side dish to put out. Side dish? Yeah. All right. Well, absolutely. listen, we're going to be rooting we're for a good meal. We're all about sides at Cotton Sun Side Beach, dish and roots and all that. 40 plus right now. Right, 40 so plus sides. We'll let him talk more in the next segment. Stick around for that. We are back in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. He's wrapping up a, co a couple of tasty seasonal favorites. His low country breakfast bowl, which was... Sassy. Sassy. It was very sassy. Sassy molassy. And now he's, we're going to work on his root roast. Also sassy. Your root roast. I'm sassy. In which roots don't get the, uh, the respect they deserve. They don't. But you give it to them at Cotton Southern Bistro. They demand respect at my they place. They demand. The root is the word today. The root word is parsnip. That's right. What's up with this? It's, it's beautiful to me. It's beautiful. Look at it. I know. We have this bowl that's empty that needs to be full. Let's do it. Fill it. Okay. Switch it. Here we go. So um, fall vegetables are uh, one of my favorite things that we mess with. So, um, and we're going to, this is just real easy. Um, mm -hmm. A nice starter. Uh, red potatoes. Uh, you know, your, uh, your basic red potatoes are a good start for anything. Kind of a root. Yes. Grows in the ground. Tuber. It's a tuber. Yes. Um, carrots. Very nice. Sweet. Um, they have a, you know, a nice crunchy um, texture to them. And they also, also have a... Nice sweet. Also grow in the ground. In the ground. Root. Um, Root. You have sweet potatoes. So tuber. In the ground. Yes. Little fibers. Okay. We got some beets. I don't know anything about beets. I could say in the ground, but I don't know. Love them so much. Got tattoo of them. So they're in the ground too. And on my arm. And they're red. And they're in the bowl. Is that purple? Yes. Which is it? Uh, blurple. It's blurple. Right. Blurple. So and then we got some Brussels sprouts. Do not grow in the ground. But above ground. But the stalk does. Okay. Oh, so the roots are in the ground. Nice and fally, but we like that. Fallish. So we love Brussels sprouts. Now you can leave these things whole, you can leave them and cut them in half, but just a nice texture and just a nice, beautiful color to this. Good crunch. Okay? You know what? It's not my favorite, but I'm coming around to it. My favorite. Parsnip? The parsnip. Come on, man. Craig was like, what is a parsnip? Tell me why it's your favorite and how's that possible? I just like the, I like the texture. I like the flavor that it has. It just has a real earthiness to it. It just looks like a white carrot to me. Well, you know, it, it, it can use some sun. Um, okay. Maybe the, maybe the Wahini ladies could help it out. The Wahini? You know, get it on the beach and me. Take you know, that parsnip surfing. Huge fan. Surfing parsnips. Huge fan of you ladies, by the way. Big fan, big fan. Yeah, so, good surf this weekend, too. So Where was to, I? North yeah. Carolina. Mm -hmm. right. And we're just going to cut this down and just get nice, nice you want nice chunks, okay? Because we're going to be roasting this baby. Okay. So we got nice, big, chunky chunks. Big chunks. So and you got your orange, you got your blurple, you got your green, you got red skin tomatoes. I love Potatoes. You. Garlic. Yeah. Garlic. We got fresh thyme, mm -hmm. fresh rosemary. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bit of olive oil. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Monosaturated Gotta fats. Have a little those, are, those are good stuff. Salt and pepper. Is that sea salt? It is sea salt. It's because we're talking wine. Fleur de sea. Fleur de sea. Okay, so we're gonna just mix. Very easy. And you can see the beets are gonna transfer some color over. Gosh, I like me some beets too, man. Yeah, look at that. And I'm see, coming around to beets too. Do you see how um, the parsnips are automatically picking up that color? I do. Because look at that. Because they're it's nice, amazing. they're nice and fibrous, and they pick up all the flavors. Let's this switch. Another, another thing, what I like about them, and we're gonna put this on a sheet pan. Pan sheet. Pan sheet. Sheet pan. Sheet pan. Baking pan. 375 in the oven. Let her rip. So no. normally when people, when the chefs come in and they say 350, it's always 350, but Jeff Brown, he kicks it up a notch, 375. My amp goes to 11. Yeah. Most of them go to 10. Okay, so okay. 375, about 30 minutes. You want to get a nice, good color roast on them. Magic okay. oven, blah, blah, blah. Let's turn, let's turn the clock ahead. 30 minutes later, voila. Taste. Taste. Good stuff. What should I go for, parsnip? You should definitely go for a parsnip. Okay, so is this one right here? Yeah, this is okay. a parsnip. It's not going to burn, is it? No. Okay. Uh, uh. Mm. That would hurt you. Mm. Mm. Look at that face. It tastes like it would go well with chicken. Roast, pork, fish, just All about that. anything. And yeah, the Brussels are good too. You going Brussels sprout? Yeah. Good stuff, man. This is very nice. So, but if you want to do this, it's a great thing to go good out stuff. on family meals, holidays. Right. Holidays, like Thanksgiving. Or it keeps well in the fridge. Oh, yeah, nice. So this is something you can get at Cotton Southern Bistro, not just this, but Cotton the whole Southern array Bistro of things. On the sides, over 40 sides right now. It's 40. side extravaganza time right now. Side extravaganza because of the harvest time right now, and you guys are harvesting a great deal of stuff We've got there. Beautiful kale. What right else? Now. Kale. Oh yeah. 
cotton. Down Salmon. with kale. Down with kale? Kale chips, kale, kale. salad. Kale. It's all about kale. kale. Kale stew, kale sandwich. You can get so much more than just kale, though. You can. If you, if you want kale, you can get it, but you can get just about anything else. You can get parsnips, you can get your beets, you can get just about anything at Cotton Southern Bistro, located at 648. That's very true. Grassfield Parkway. Number 12 in Chesapeake. Call them 609 3156 or look them up online at cottonsouthernbistro.com. Now open at Hilltop West Shopping Center, yep. Virginia Beach. How's that going? Hilltop is great. We love our Virginia Beach friends. You should. It's we should. Their phone number Please there is 961 6474. And that's also online at cottonsouthernbistro.com. Please. Great job, Jeff Brown. Thank you.